This is the Grow Your Clinic podcast from Clinic Mastery. We help progressive health professionals to lead inspired teams, transform client experiences, and build clinics for good. Now, it's time to grow your clinic. Welcome to the Grow Your Clinic podcast. My name is Ben Lynch. Today, I'm going to share with you a very popular blog that we posted on a number of our socials and in particular inside the Grow Your Clinic Facebook group that's free for clinic owners like yourself looking to stay up to date with some of the latest strategies to help you grow your clinic and also enter into a dialogue with peers in a supportive group who are able to help you navigate some of the challenges or questions that you might have. The blog that I did was around this acronym called IFTT, I-F-T-T-T. That's I-F-T-T-T. This is an acronym and it stands for this, if this, then that. I'll say it again, if this, then that. It's a form of conditional logic, which is a sequence of steps that softwares and systems use. If, for short, is a very simple way to describe how you might create automations in those softwares and systems. The automation would look like this. If this event occurs, then that action will be triggered. However, when it comes to your own logic or sequence of thoughts as a clinic owner, if can become a cognitive error. An error that can make being a clinic owner quite exhausting. The exhaustion comes from the if sequence being a repeating pattern. If this happens, then that will dot, 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 fill in the blanks. Here's a couple of examples that I commonly hear when working with clinic owners. If this month we can make more money, then that will make me less stressed. If this busy next six-week period can go to plan, then that will allow me to think more clearly about the important things. If this prospective team member joins us, then that will give me more time. If this campaign fills the diary with clients, then that will take the consulting pressure off of me. If this wait list of clients can be serviced, then that will be a huge burden off my shoulders. If this series of lockdowns due to coronavirus ends, then that will make business easier. I want you to be mindful of the unhelpful thinking styles that you might be running. Your if might well be true. The challenge with your if is that the next if will come shortly after this one. I see it time and time again. With too many of these back-to-back, your sustainability and resilience will be continually tested because you're rarely in the moment. Your joy, happiness, even your fulfillment is always conditional on something or someone else someday in the future. That's exhausting. Here's a practical but not comprehensive list of actions to consider to help you. Number one, get a psychologist as part of your own support team because being in business is a challenging beast. Number two, get in the moment with mindfulness, gratitude, and perspective to enjoy the journey now. Don't make it conditional on something else later. Meditate or journal as an example. Number three, get a coach to guide you in your business so that you can manage the growing list of tasks and people challenges that you face. Number four, you can focus on what's within your control, what's within your influence, and also accept what you need to accept that's outside of your control. If then thinking can be driven by the need for things to be perfect to ensure success, that's quite common amongst us health professionals, this often results in no change being made and you become stuck in the same place. If this at all resonates, then it would be a good time for you to make sure that you get present, that you get the support team around you, that you enjoy the journey along the way, because 
The next thing will come. The next challenge will be there. Be present. Enjoy your journey of growing your clinic. And if you're not part of our Facebook group, it's free to join. Come and join us. We've got about 3,000 people as I speak to you now inside the group sharing their stories, sharing their experiences, asking their questions about some of the bigger picture stuff and some of the stuff that helps you run the daily operations of your clinic. We'd love to be able to help you inside the Facebook group. Head along to the Grow Your Clinic Facebook group. Answer the questions so that we know you're not a bot, that you're a real human, and we can collaborate inside there. For now, all the best. Have a fantastic day. We'll speak to you very soon on another episode of the Grow Your Clinic podcast. Thanks for tuning in to the Grow Your Clinic podcast. To find out more about past episodes or how we can help you, head to www.clinicmastery.com forward slash podcast. And please remember to rate and review us on your podcast player of choice. See you on the next episode.